From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. A dollar doesn't buy as much as it once did. According to the American Institute for Economic Research, a dollar in 1971 had 24 cents worth of purchasing power when compared to a dollar in 1913. A dollar in 2009 had about 4 cents worth of purchasing power on the same scale. This decline is known as inflation, and it isn't restricted to the dollar. However, the dollar is one of the world's most widely used currencies, so change in its value can impact the world in surprising ways ways. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve works to stabilize the national economy, preventing too much inflation while ensuring continual growth. At least, that's the working theory. However, some believe this system is broken, and the current state of the economy is about to get much, much worse. Why? Here's where it gets crazy. Inflation and hyperinflation are similar but not identical. Two factors usually cause inflation, the perception of a currency's value and the principle of supply and demand. Back when the dollar was based on gold, inflation occurred when people thought the government and banks couldn't supply the gold the dollar represented. The dollar hasn't been on the gold standard since 1971, making it a fiat currency. This means that it has value through government regulation rather than representing a tangible asset. So what exactly is hyperinflation? According to economist Paul Krugman, hyperinflation occurs when governments can't either raise taxes or borrow to pay for their spending and print more cash, attempting to create revenue by creating money. This can also create a snowball effect, where governments end up printing more and more money that is worth less and less. This is not a fictional scenario. It's happened before, most notably in Germany's Weimar Republic in the early 1920s. During this time, unfortunate citizens race to spend German marks as soon as possible Possible because by the end of the day it would be worth less than it was in the morning. A similar situation has occurred in Zimbabwe. Could this happen in the United States? According to conspiracy theorists and self-appointed economic prophets, it's already underway. In 1980, author Douglas Casey predicted the greatest depression in the history of the world was on the horizon, likely set to occur in 1984. Someone has predicted a similar disaster nearly every year since. Skeptics often dismiss these speakers as charlatans, pointing out that many people have predicted the collapse of the dollar for decades, and it hasn't happened yet. Additionally, these speakers' warning of hyperinflation often stand to make a profit from their speeches and may have sponsorship deals with gold or silver trading companies. To skeptics, this means the authors have a financial interest in scaring customers, but they aren't the only ones predicting the dollar's collapse. Conspiracy theorists like Alex Jones and Lindsay Williams believe the global elite will purposefully sink the dollar to create a new global monetary system. Like most conspiracy theories about shadowy elites, this assumes that a very small group controls the majority of the financial market. The world's economy is Byzantine and complex. Since so much of a currency's value is related to the nebulous factor of confidence, any number of variables may adversely affect the worth of a currency. Are the skeptics right when they say the people warning us about a financial collapse are only scaring the gullible out of their money? Are the world's banks really doing their best to maintain stability, or is there something else to this story? Something they don't want you to know.